Happy will translate today. Happy, please. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Happy. How are you? Fine. Thank you. I'm ready. All right. Thank you. A picture is worth a thousand words, or so the saying goes. 俗话说，意图胜千言。What about teaching a lesson with a picture within a story? 用图用故事配插图来教导人会怎样呢? Our creator knows that we are visual people and do well with examples and pictures. 我们的创造者知道我们是视觉星人，擅长图例的理解。the Old Testament is replete with symbolism, and Jesus himself taught through parables. The prophet Hosea lived out a picture within a story by marrying an unfaithful wife. His story is the picture of a loving God pursuing and forgiving an unfaithful bride, his people, again and again. Early in Hosea chapter 6, the Israelites were exhibiting a superficial repentance to get on God to get on God's good side, not a true repentance of sorrow and change. God who knows the heart of all, saw their unchanged attitude and responded. Hosea chapter 6 verse 6 lays out the sum of what God requires of his servants. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, an acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. Hosea 4 1 showed that God had a complaint about Israel because they had abandoned mercy because they gave up truth in the knowledge of God. The Hebrew word mercy used in both of those verses, 4.1 and 6.6, is chesed. It's a word that can refer to right conduct towards one's neighbor or loyalty to the Lord or both. This is exactly what you see elsewhere in the Old and New Testaments with the two greatest commandments. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says, He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy, same word, 
and to walk humbly with your God. 在弥迦书六章八节中说：“世人呐、啊，耶华已指示你何为善，他向你所要的是什么呢？只要存，只要你行公义，好怜悯。”（括号同样的词，存谦卑的心与神同行。）耶稣基督对宗教领袖两次用了此经文，因为他们看重外在的和表面的事情。They missed God's heart. 他们不懂神的心意。First Samuel fifteen twenty two b says, "To obey is better than sacrifice." 撒母耳记上十五章二十二节中说到。顺听命顺于听命胜于献祭。God has given us two commands to obey: love God and love your neighbor. 上帝给了我们两条要遵守的命令：爱神和爱邻舍。These are summed up in that Hebrew word mercy, chesed, and forge a way to what God wants from us. 这些都包括在，都包括在怜悯希伯来希伯来词和 said 中，而且呢，开辟了一条通往上帝旨意的道路。This does not imply that sacrifice is unimportant, but it is only acceptable when brought with the right attitude. 这并不是说献祭不重要，而是说。只有当持有正确的态度时，所献的祭才蒙悦纳。Sacrifice without faithfulness is worthless. 献祭没有诚心，毫无价值。The Israelites were still under animal sacrifice, more imagery provided by God for the coming of a perfect Lamb who would take away the sins of the world. 以色列仍在用动物献祭，这是神为完全的羔羊来到提供的意象。这个，这个，这完美的羔羊除去世人的罪。We, however, are not under sacrifice anymore, as Jesus, that perfect Lamb, has already come and died and rose again. 而我们不再用动物献祭。因完美的羔羊耶稣已经来了，且受死又复活了。Romans twelve one tells us to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 罗马书十二章一节告诉我们，将身体献上，当作活祭，是圣洁的，是神所喜悦的。你们如此侍奉，乃是理所当然的。In full obedience to God, with humility and submission, we should offer our lives for God to work through. 在完全顺服神的谦卑和顺服中，我们将当将自己的生命献上，让神来借着我们的生命做工。Thank you, thank you for your testimony. Please lead us with loud prayer. 请大家开麦跟着老师读主导文。Our Father in heaven, our Father, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom, your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. As we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. 
that deliver us from the evil one. Bye-bye.